If you're feeling a little funky and you're watching this within the next week or so, it could be because we got Mercury in retrograde. Or, if you're watching this in a future cycle, it happens about three times a year, lasts for approximately three weeks, but the exact times vary. Consult your local uh, web pages, just search for Mercury in retrograde, and you'll find some charts on that. Here's some things that I've found about what Mercury in retrograde means. First of all, I wish that it were not the case. <laughs> I mean, I guess I need to surrender to it like everything else, but it's pretty intense. On my chart, you can also on the internet, you know, get your, your full chart done for free if you search around, which you know, if you, if you have the exact time of your birth and the location, they'll tell you where all the various planets are. Mercury, on my chart, is in my sun sign, which is Cancer. So, what I've heard that means is that it intensifies Mercury in retrograde. It might intensify other events related to Mercury. I'm, I'm not sure. But I know that for Mercury in retrograde, it does tend to... It does tend to be a very intense experience for me. And we are in the thick of it, and I was feeling a lot of tightness today. Um, cute. We can't break. Um, it's feeling a lot of tension. Not feeling in flow. Mercury in retrograde there is a time period in which Mercury appears appears to be rotate, rotating in the opposite direction. And the symbolism of Mercury in retrograde is about stopping the forward momentum that we usually are in in life and pausing to find out if there's any kind of uh, unfinished business that needs to be dealt with. So I think that up until today, I've had a lot of things related to, com you know, computer stuff to do and business stuff, uh, uh, emotional unfinished business is, is another aspect of Mercury and Retrograde. So the idea is that by stopping and dealing with anything that lingers on in our life, then we can move forward and, and be... Uh, less burdened by anything that we're still holding on to. So, so I've been doing a lot of things, you know, that are kind of linear and technical and doing pretty well, but today I had a lot more spaciousness. So I think that brought up for me, you know, just a discomfort in my body and dealing with my aloneness and dealing with anything that uh, lingers on is, is uncomfortable for me in, in the emotional realm and that being more present which ultimately I know is good for it to come up and to feel it, but uh, it isn't always very pleasant. And I f have felt like less optimistic than normal today and just like things feeling a bit sluggish. But knowing that it's Mercury in retrograde <clears throat> can be helpful in the sense of not taking it too seriously, like you know, the whole this too shall pass thing is helpful to keep in mind. Uh, they also say, there's a lot of different information out there in Merck and Retro, but it's commonly associated with challenges related to electronics and other kinds of technical things, and, uh, and then also related to communication challenges, possible misunderstandings. I've heard it's a bad time to start something new, but, you know, sometimes something new is just correlated with that and it's difficult to get around that fact, but those are some general kinds of uh, ideas and associations with Mercury in retrograde. But the main thing that I find is that it, uh, it's a time, because it is really easy to just so get caught up in things that we don't stop and reevaluate. A lot of times I think people get sick 
because they're going too fast and they need to slow down and reevaluate things. But astrologically, this can be a time to energetically deal with anything. And if you're not dealing with the things that are lingering and unfinished, then you might experience more discomfort and more uh, dis-ease, uneasiness. So some people hide when it comes to American Retro. They try to lay low, so to speak. Uh, I try to deal with unfinished business, and it does seem to help to, to utilize the energy for that. So those are some general thoughts about Mercury and Retrograde. May you use them to your advantage.